New maths. You need 27 tickets to guarantee a win on the UK National Lottery. It checks out. Let's go. In the UK National Lottery, there are 59 numbers of which you have to select six and of course get them right to win the main prize. And the paper absolutely does show, come on, that there are, hang on, oh, where's the dog? There, here we go. There are 27 tickets such that if you buy those, you are guaranteed to win, except you're not guaranteed to win the main prize. You're guaranteed to win a, you're not getting a coffee. Come on, come on. You're guaranteed to win a prize. And the smallest prize you can win is matching two numbers. And the fine people over at the A Periodical ran the numbers. Come on, let's go. And worked out that 75% of the time, that's all you're gonna win, two numbers. In fact, in a further 23.5% of the time, the best you'll have is three numbers matched and you're still gonna lose money. And only 1.5% of the time you play this strategy will you actually make money. Hey, Future Matt here. Yes, even I gotta work on these one day things. So I misspoke slightly. It's 98.5% chance you will match uh, three or fewer numbers across all of the tickets, but that might happen multiple times. So actually you can match three numbers across enough tickets to turn a profit. So you don't just make a profit 1.5% of the time. Peter Rollett at A Periodical very kindly ran the numbers again for me. It's actually 5% of the time. It's still not good. But is that the point? But that's not the point. The point is the maths is super interesting and it's a nice challenge. See if you can work out for 27 sets of six numbers, how do you guarantee that for any new set of six numbers, there's definitely at least one set that has at least two matches. Uh, I mean, it's not straightforward. It does use maths that we've had on the channel before, if you want to give it a go. And you've got until I buy 27 lottery tickets and get back to the office to work it out. All right, let's go. This way, come on. I have to admit, it was a little bit embarrassing filling out 27 lottery tickets by copying numbers meticulously off a scrap of paper. When people were staring, I felt like saying, it's okay, I have a system, but I didn't know if that would help. But anyway, I'm now back in the office and we have, uh, there's all my games, all set, ready to go. Now, I've got one last confession to make in this video, and that is that the maths behind why this works for 27 games is not the most impressive part of this paper. In fact, the first three pages cover the introduction and the maths behind why that works. The remaining, oh goodness, 13, 14 pages of very complicated mathematics is proving that you cannot do this with 26. Yes, the real achievement is just showing that 26 doesn't work. Otherwise, you got 27, people are like, well, hang on, can you, can you do it even better? And they managed to prove you cannot. So 27 is interesting, not because it's possible, but because that's the smallest number for which it is possible. And uh, time is up if you're trying to work out how it's done. It is using a bit of mathematics we've seen on the channel before. It's using a finite projective plane. It's the Fano plane from before, from the double video. You remember double? It's the same idea. Double is how do you get it such that any two cards always have a symbol in common. And this is, how do you have a bunch of, you know, tickets such that whatever six numbers you get, they, two of them will have like a ticket in common. So it's a very similar problem, but slightly different in how you set it up. So the Fano plane, if you have not met it before, you've got seven boxes linked by seven lines, one of which is a circle. And if you go through all seven lines, you'll see there's one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you pick any two boxes on there, they are definitely joined by one line. And so what we can do is fill some numbers in, and it means if you choose any two numbers, and they go from one to 14 on here, they will be joined by one line. And because each line has three boxes and each box has two numbers, it means each of these lines now has six numbers. Each of those lines is one game, one set of six on a ticket. And so if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tickets, we will have covered every single option here. And that's got us from one through to 14. We just need a few more of those. So we do two more Fano planes 
and each one's got the next 14 numbers. We're now up to 42 numbers. And if you're thinking, well, you just have a fourth Fano plane. Each of these represents seven tickets, so we're up to 21 tickets. You could do it with another one, but then you're up to 28 tickets. In fact, you wouldn't quite be all the way to 59. And they were trying to prove you could do it with 27, because that's the smallest number for which it was possible. And so all you do is you take advantage of the fact you don't have to have only two numbers in each box. So they then did a really reduced finite plane. So you've got three points, they're all joined, each of them have three numbers. So now you've got three lines, and each of those three lines has six numbers. So what are we up to now? That's another uh, three tickets. And then you have one more, but this time you've got a vanishing point. And the vanishing point is just included in every single one of the three tickets. And these all have two, so they're all six tickets each. And now we're up to 59 altogether, and that's it. There are our 27 tickets. And when the draw happens, if you bought all 27 lines as individual tickets, like I have done, you just wait for two numbers from the draw to both be in the same one of these shapes. And the moment there are two numbers in the same shape, we know there's definitely a ticket corresponding to a line that would join them together. We have one on two numbers, except what if the draw doesn't give us two numbers in the same shape? Well, they have to draw six numbers and there's only five shapes. So worst case scenario, there's one in each of these shapes and the sixth one has to be the second number in one of them. It's the pigeonhole principle. So many lovely, delightful bits of mathematics means that you can guarantee these 27 games will win at least two numbers. Okay, another confession. So the numbers I've done are different to the ones in the original paper. So I numbered the Fano planes first, starting at one, then I did the two unusual cases, whereas they numbered the unusual cases first from one and then did the Fano planes. And so it means my numbering is subtly different to this numbering, which actually is good, because if there is one bit of mathematics behind winning the actual main prize on the lottery, which is incredibly unlikely, is that you don't want to pick the same numbers as someone else, otherwise you have to share the prize. And this mathematics was only done this week. Tonight is the first lottery draw since this mathematics was done. And I can't be the only mathematical dingus who thinks it's hilarious to go out and buy the tickets, even though there's only a, what's that gonna, what did I say? It was a one and a half percent chance. Five percent! I'm gonna make a profit. That's not the point. The point is the maths. But if I took the ones from the paper, and they did, they write them all up, so there's actually a whole list here. I could have just taken that list of numbers from the paper into the newsagent and ordered those. But that's the easy way. So for a start, I've got my renumbering. Now I could have just, you know, done a substitution on that. Instead, I wanted to renumber the planes, because I think that's more interesting. Here you've got nine tickets and eight tickets. That's 17 spots available. And there are 17 prime numbers below 60. So there's exactly 17 prime numbers to choose from, and there's 17 spots to be filled here. So this bottom panel here is all prime numbers. Mm, so nice. Which means that the tickets that correspond to those, those games, only have primes. I then realized there are seven square numbers. Put them in here. Annoyingly, there are 10 triangle numbers. But if you exclude three, because we've already used that as a prime, and you realize that both one and 36 are square and triangle, it means there are precisely 14 non-prime, square, or triangle, not exclusive all, numbers. So I can put them all on the same ones. This is the primes, square, triangle numbers, and these two are the rest. Um, I, I, was, I was about to start coding up some Python to use the online encyclopedia of integer sequences <laughs> API to work out two interesting sets they could be partitioned into. And then I realized I've only got one day to make this video and maybe I'm getting distracted. So I just put them all in here. I did put all the ones that end in zero, eight or two, to, sorry, zero, eight or four together because I thought that was hilarious and the rest are there. So they're my numbers. They're what I hope will win me some money tonight. And given these tickets were paid for by my Patreon supporters, it feels only fair to say if I happen to win any money, I promise to spend it all on making more videos. And so I can't rescind that. I'm going to uh, tweet the numbers before the draw. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see oh, on X, 
Uh, it's a weird time for social media. I will also thread them on threads. I will, uh, what do you do on TikTok? I'll tick them on TikTok. I will reel them on Instagram. I will toot them on Mastodon. Oh, this is so ridiculous. Um, the, all those accounts are real, by the way. Some of them quite new. So if you are on any of those platforms, please do go and follow me. So I can get my numbers up. But I will put these out into the world before the draw so you can make sure I definitely spend the money that I win on making more ridiculous videos with a higher budget <laughs> than this one. Now we just have to wait until I think it's like 7.45 tonight and we'll see if I've won. Okay, we are on. I got my tickets at the ready. Welcome I've got, uh, on, draw. I'm spinning you around. Week, there we go. The draw is about to happen. Has been won in and they reckon With there's millions of pounds that could be won in prizes. So I'm very excited by that possibility. What I'll do though is I'll bring it back around to me. Draw. I'm going to write the numbers down as they come out. Tonight's roll over and um, yeah, then we'll see. Four million pounds. So many, four million pounds. That feels deeply unlikely. And the first number out is... First number is... 20. 20. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad this is on the second channel because we've reached the point 56. where it's just 56 random numbers live. And if you're thinking that the audio quality, 37, is better now than it was before, Eight. it's because my microphone, I recently updated the firmware and it reset the settings, which 21. included the automatically record setting. So I was turning it on and off and recording 32. all day, but 33, and uh, that wasn't helping me at all. Oh, do and I include 25? 25. So 25 is a supplementary number, right? Which goes on, the, I'm going to mute that. Which goes on the very end um, as a supplementary number, but I don't know, I mean, this is the pure math. So I think, you know what? Out of principle, I'm not going to use 25. No way, no. I'm an absolute purist. Let's color in uh, the legitimate six numbers and see what I've won. First up, 20. <laughs> I've done 20 and it only appears three times. It's only, the, that's it, that's it for 20s. The other two, no 20s. That's the dog at the door. Hang on, I'll let her in. Ah. Wanna help me check the numbers? Hang on. The dog realizes she's part of the, come on up here, over here. Not over there, over here. Let's go, round. Okay, all there. You make yourself comfortable. That's better, good girl. Good girl, let's in. Here we go. There we are. Who's that? Come to see me not make any money. So where was I? I was doing 56, which again is not looking super promised. Oh, there's one, at least one. Yeah, it makes sense. If there is a number anywhere, they're all clumped together because they're only in one place on one of the graphs. So they have to be clumped. All right, 37. Eight, 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 it's 21s. 33. Okay, that's it. And I, I, okay. Well, you know what? Uh, it's disappointing from a winning money point of view, but it's great from a maths point of view. I won exactly once. I have a single, there's like, there's none on there. No two numbers. That one's, oh, there's one at the top there. That's once. Did I get twice then? Nope, that was the once. None on there. None on there. Single win. Not using the supplementary number. So there it is, as promised, one win. And guess what you get for two numbers? Another ticket. So um, I get one lucky dip in the lottery. So that's a substantial loss for all involved. So thank you so much for watching this ridiculous video. Again, sorry about the bad audio quality before. I only had a day to put it together. No time for reshoots. And I've had a lot of fun recently. Like I, like the main channel, my highly produced videos, I, I love making them so much and I have such an incredibly talented team. I mean camera person Alex is way better at filming and editing than I am and producer Nicole is way better at producing and project managing um, and physics than I am and so like I love working with the team I love making fantastic videos and I've been so busy recently like we've, we've filmed a bunch of videos I just finished the first draft of my next book which will be out if the plan is April 2024 and if you're watching this far into this kind of ridiculous video, low quality, second channel, you're the kind of hardcore fan who, uh, if you want, there's a link below, if you want to pre-register, no obligation, to be uh, to be announced ahead of time, 
when pre-orders are up for the special editions of my next book, I will link that below. You, you feel like the kind of people who might, who might, what are you doing? Hang on, the dog's trying to get my attention. So, uh, I mean, look at, look at this. Do you think she's just disappointed? Are you disappointed? I actually can't see where the camera's pointing, so I'm guessing. Is that the dog there? I feel like the camera's pointing at the dog now. Look at you, do you want these? Do you want these? No, you're rightfully disgusted by them. So uh, anyway, from myself and Skylab, thank you so much for watching um, this ridiculous video. And hooray maths, and don't gamble.